All right, today we're going to do a quick uh, service oil change and seal change on the uh, it's a 32 millimeter 2008 uh, talus fork. Uh, we won't be messing around with the talus dampener side, but uh, we'll be just changing the fork oil and the um, and the seals. Okay, first thing I do is I go ahead and take the air pressure out. So we just kind of put a rag over it and pressure on the shredder valve. Next we need to remove the uh, rebound knob and that uses a 2 millimeter allen. Okay, rebind now, tough. Next, we need to remove the low speed compression knob. Um, all you have to do is just loosen these uh, set screws, and they're one and a half uh, millimeters. And just watch out, there's little balls in there. Make sure you don't lose those. So just loosen it up. Okay, uh, now we need to remove the dampener. It uses a 26 millimeter socket head, and make sure you have one that has uh, the end kind of milled down flat, because the the um, little lock nut here is uh, pretty soft and pretty thin. So make sure you get one that's a uh, 5.26 millimeter. So we just need. Yeah. Remove it. So we just loosen it. Okay, now we're going to have to remove the foot nuts on both the right and left side. So the uh, air spring side and the dampener side. This is a 10 millimeter socket. That fits right over. So what I'm going to do is just loosen it. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So what I'll do is I'll back it out. Just enough. And then what I'll do is I'll take a plastic mallet. And I'll just remove the uh, air spring rod from the lower on the uh, left side of the fork and also it'll uh, loosen up the uh, right side on the air spring side. So just tap. There we go. Now I can go ahead and remove it. Okay. Now I've removed the foot nuts on both ends and loosened the rods on the air spring side and the dampener side. Uh, the oil is going to come out, so just make sure you have a bucket underneath. It should be able to pull this out. As you can see, oil is draining out of the, um, the dampener side. There's going to be more oil because you have about 160 cc's in there. So. Okay, now that I have the lowers removed, I can go ahead and remove the dampener rod. So I just kind of twist it. Okay, now that you have the, the dampener rod out. Um, sometimes there's oil trapped in here, so what they do recommend is taking a one, one and a half millimeter Allen wrench, put it in this little, on the bottom of the dampener, or some type of shim stack with a spring, just push it with your finger, and as you're pushing it with your finger, slowly move the dampener right up and down, and that should express any oil that's inside the, um, dampener here.
Okay, next thing you need to do is we need to remove the dust seal and the foam seal off. Take a 18 millimeter open inner wrench. Kind of get it in there just at the seal and don't uh, touch the fork and just kind of pry. There we go. Then you take your foam dust seal. These are pretty dry. So these are toast. This one's good. Okay, now I have the I have the replacement uh, foam ring uh, foam uh, seal soaking in the float fluid, and then what it does is it'll sit just inside here on both sides. So I've let this soak. So I'll just take um, seal, just place it right in there. Next, we're going to install the dust wiper seal, and it goes right here. And just make sure you don't pinch up on the uh, um, foam ring there. So I'm just going to do it by hand. Just place it on there and just push it down. Okay, there you go. You just double check, make sure it's down all the way, all the way around. Okay. Okay, next part we're going to install the lowers back onto the stanchion. So, so you take the um, lowers and then what I do is I like to fill uh, the foam ring and the uh, uh, wiper seal with uh, slick honey. I just smear it on the inside. I'm pretty generous with it. Okay, now I got the slick eye on. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the um, lowers on. So I just want to be careful that when I put it on, I'm not pinching the seals or creasing the seals. Just kind of. Now I have the lowers on. Uh, on the left side of the fork, which is the air spring side, they recommend 10 cc's of suspension fluid through the lowers. So, 10 cc's. Okay, now that we have the suspension fluid on the uh, left side of the fork, which is air spring side, let's go ahead and We'll lower the lower until you see the uh, um, um, air spring rod come through. Then you place your um, crest washer, a silver one, plus the foot nut. And then just go ahead and torque it to spec. Okay, next part, we go ahead and insert our, um, our dampener rod in. And you don't want to screw it in quite yet. Um, you want to make that uh, Damper rod come through the bottom of the fork. Okay, now that we fed the damper rod through the uh, top, we need to try to get the rod through the lowers here. So I'm just gonna... There we go. <laughs> that makes it much easier. Um, then we go ahead and put the foot net on. Make sure you put the crush washer on. And your foot nut. And just tighten down to spec.
Okay, next thing I'm going to do is fill up the um, dampener side with uh, sus uh, suspension fluid uh, oil. So for this, it's uh, 160 cc's I believe. Once that in, I'm go ahead and start screwing down the um, damper sign. I usually start it by hand. And go ahead, torque it to spec. Okay, now we need to replace our um, low compression knob. Um, to figure out what position it is, make sure you dial it in clockwise till it stops. Once it's clockwise, always till it stops. Then you want to place this knob in the six o'clock position about right there and you're all set and then what I did was in order to not lose the little balls I put grease on there just so they don't fall out and what it does is it sits in this little groove here and all you have to do is just um, just, just put in the set screws just enough so that it it gra it actually seats the balls in those little grooves and it doesn't need to be tight so I just want to double check. Okay, that's all the way down. That's in a six o'clock position. Take a one and a half millimeter. And just usually it's like a half a turn. A little bit more than that. There you go. Dude, that's a little tight, so I'll back off. Which one? There you go. And it's in there. There you go. Next part, we need to replace the rebound knob. So it's obvious that it fits only one way on there. So make sure this lines up with this little shaft here. Once that's on, take your two millimeter wrench and just thread it on. Turn it. There you go. That's rebound. That is compression knob and rebound. Now I got everything buttoned up. I want to go ahead and put uh, air in the fork. So for me, on this particular fork, I usually run between 50 and 60, so we'll get that up there. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and remount everything on the bike and test it out, make sure we don't have any oil leaks or anything like that.